Well, hello, hello, and welcome back. All right, are you ready for this? We are making meatloaf. All right, I don't know if you guys remember in the olden days the good old meatloaf, right? Some were good, and some were that hard that the dog needed gravy. <laughs> so hopefully we've come a little way since then. All right, so for this one, we are going to need 250 grams of sausage meat. Now, um, they didn't have any, I had a kilo one in the freezer, so I'm just gonna cut 250 grams off of it. Um, if you've never bought it before, if you go to the IGA, you can usually get it in the section where the sausages are. You can always get it from the butcher or the meat store as well. All right, so we need 250 grams of that. So I'll just use the rest and make sausage rolls. All right, we need 500 grams or half a kilo of beef mince. We need one stalk of celery, one small carrot, one small onion, an egg, some nice fresh parsley. We need Worcestershire sauce, tomato sauce, and that's supposed to be Dijon mustard. I don't know what the hell the Dijon is. So what happens when you go without your glasses. So anyway, Dijon mustard is we're supposed to have. And one cup of breadcrumbs. Alright, that's what we need to make the actual meatloaf. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to chop up our celery stick. Now I'll go lengthways, do a four or five times. It's up, you can do it bigger if you want, but I don't reckon it's uh, any good lot big. You need them small. Okay, and then you just cut this way after. Alright, and chop the whole one up and stick it in a bowl. In a big bowl, stick it in a big bowl. Now we grate the carrot. Now we chop our onion really, really small. Now we want to chop up roughly one tablespoon of parsley and chuck her in there. Okay, now we put our beef mince in. I like to just break it up. We're just putting it in there. Same with the sausage meat. Good dose of salt and pepper. So in a small bowl, whisk an egg up and chuck that into your meat mix. All right, roughly one tablespoon of tomato sauce. Two teaspoons of the good old Worcestershire sauce, mate. And two teaspoons of the Dijon mustard. Now we want to mix it all in really, really well. So there's no getting away from it. In the end, you've got to get your hands in there anyway and mix it up really well. Once you've done that, we're going to stick our half a cup to start with and mix that in really well. Oh, the aroma coming off of this meat is just yummy. Other half, mix it in really well. All right, once she's mixed up to perfection, we want to get ourselves some bench space and some baking paper. So I'll cut a piece, it is at least 30, maybe 40 centimeters long. And I've got to try and find which one's the work side, which I think is that one. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to put our meat out onto our baking paper. And we want to pat it out into a rectangle. Okay, so roughly 25 centimeters wide by uh, 35 centimeters long. Oh, mate, it's been so long since I've made a le uh, meatloaf. This is so much fun. Okay, so I've got it roughly 25 centimetres by 35. What can you see in there? Can you see that? Okay. So what we're going to do next... Oh, I've got to get away because I've got to Is we're going to roll it like a roulade or whatever you used to call them, okay? So bend the first one down, really squash it on. Like a saw. All right, and then keep going. You want it nice and tight. Okay. I'll just keep pulling back to show you. See how we're rolling it? Rolling, 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 rolling. Oh, this is so much fun. All right, push the ends. Make sure you keep them in. Keep on going. Make sure we've got them long enough, yep. Okay, so I might just pick it up on the baking paper and then slide it off it, hopefully. Like a saw. Okie dokie. Spuds are on. Oven has been preheated at 180 degrees Celsius. We're going to whack her in now for exactly 30 minutes. Exactly like that, uncovered. So in she goes. 30 minutes. While that's happening, we're going to make the glaze. 
So the first thing we're going to do is get a small saucepan and put 30 grams of butter in it. We're going to put half a cup of water. Okay, we need two tablespoons of malt vinegar. I don't know if you can see that from there. I had every other vinegar but I had to go down and get it. It's just with all your other vinegars. It's only like two dollars for a bottle. Lasts forever. Alright, two tablespoons of that in there. Now we want quarter of a cup of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce in there. Oh yeah, baby. Half a cup of tomato sauce. Now we need to squeeze a lemon and do two, two tablespoons worked out to half a lemon then. Now we want quarter of a cup of firmly packed brown sugar. And we want one teaspoon of instant coffee. I use Nescafe. One teaspoon. Okay, so now what we do is we put it on the stove top. Uh, we bring it up to the boil. As soon as it starts boiling, we turn it down to a simmer, which is a really soft boil. All right, she was simmering away for five minutes. Beautiful, ready to go. Oh my god, it smells amazing. I'm telling you, oh, you're gonna love this. All right, so the meat has got six minutes to go, and then we'll do the next bit. Oh, so when you when you pull your meatloaf out after the half an hour, don't turn your oven off, okay? Because we're going to put it back in. Oh my god, it smells awesome in here. So marinade, the loaf, oh wow. Alrighty. Half an hour laid out, she comes. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you either pour over, if you want, a third of it. Of our glaze, but I can't remember. It's been a while since I made one. I yeah, I'm just gonna. Uh, I might even in view there. I hope so. So a third of it, I'm gonna slush on there. Okay. And once we've totally covered it, we're gonna stick it back in. Now all up, we're gonna do it for half an hour. So we're gonna stick it back in, and we're gonna set the timer for in ten minutes. In ten minutes, we're gonna pull it back out. Make sure you close the door real quick again, so we can keep the oven hot. Alright, we're going to pull it back out in 10, do one more one third of it, and back in it goes. Another timer for 10, put the last third on it, and then back in for 10 minutes again. Oh, first 10 minutes is up. Oh my god, this place smells absolutely amazing. Oh. Okay, next third on. Now we're cooking. Okay, so for the last time we're going to marinate. We're going to pour the rest over the top. Like a so. Then we're going to mix it in with what's in the bottom already. Nice thick stuff. And we're going to coat a bit of this over the top as well. Now we're going to stick it in for its final 10 minutes. When we take it out, you want to put it on whatever serving tray you want to put it on. And then once it's on there, you just get the, the this in the bottom here will be a lot thicker again in 10 minutes. And you just paste a bit of this on and make it look gorgeous. Oh yum. Last 10 minutes and she goes. Oh, I can't wait. Boom! There we have it, my friends. Oh my god, best meatloaf ever. So I'll leave it set there to sit for five minutes. So I'm going to make uh, mine and plate mine up with mash and peas. Now there's plenty of juice left in the uh, tray. So once you've sliced it up and you put your slices all nice and pretty on the plate, you can get a few spoonfuls of the marinades on the bottom and pour it over the top. Oh, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely give this one a crack. Take it easy. You know me. I'll be back. Bye.